you know, it's not just about putting the product in front of the consumer, but it's about getting into their imagination. If you look at every major successful company in maybe, I don't know if this is just America, but maybe just around the world, when it comes to being a success, you really have to make people imagine things. You have to spark the imagination. You have to spark the creativity or the curiosity or, you know, kind of the sense of excitement. Like if I get this new smartphone, what is it going to bring for me? Like in a, in a positive way, like is it, this is, it's, it's exciting. Like it's sitting here, it's in the wrapper, I'm opening it up and I just can't wait to turn this on and just see what this is all about. Cause I feel like I'm looking at a minor work of art here. Like this could, you know, maybe in a hundred years, this will be in a museum somewhere. That's how, well designed it is and that is imagination you know that's um, that's the softer side of the of the brain the softer side of the business you know i think that that's exactly the problem that a lot of companies face when they're trying to break into this world is they have no brand name so they have to market themselves at a much more discounted rate than their biggest competitors